go, Junior. What's up, Big Shoots? Hola. How was your flight? It was all right. It was early. Well, folks, made it back to the MTV crib. This is, man, this is gonna be one of the last times you guys see this house on my channel. This could be it. This. This video or maybe maybe this week's videos are gonna be the last time you viewers on my channel are gonna see this house. This is, for those of you guys that don't know, this is the MTB crib. This is where we have been filming and living as the Guggen Squad for the last two years. We've been here for two full years and uh, we're moving on. We're doing, we're doing some other stuff. We actually posted a video on the Guggen Squad channel if you guys wanna go check it out about kind of what we're doing next, but we are moving out of this. The Guggen Squad house is coming to an end. But before we get started into today's video, it is gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a good video. If you guys don't know, John and I, John, where's John? John's over there ripping on the guitar, doing John things. John and I came down here about a month ago to go hog hunting and uh, yeah, I didn't really go that high. We shot one, I shot my first one ever, but we went for like three days straight, didn't see one. Yeah, anyways, we're here to get revenge on it. So as you guys know, if you guys saw the video where it says that I was, I was talking about the YouTube's new policies of all the new gun laws and rules and demonic and stuff. Well, this video right here, gonna pretty much guarantee it's gonna get demonetized. The shooting the ice video and the coyote hunting video I just posted both got demonetized. So with that being said, I wanna say a huge thanks to Audible for sponsoring today's video. You can get your first audiobook for free when you try Audible for 30 days. All you gotta do is go click the link at the very top of the description, audible.com forward slash flare or text flare to 500-500. I actually listened to an audiobook on the plane ride down here called Turkey Hunting Tactics. Yeah, that's right, folks. You guys are hunters. You're getting ready for the spring. I've shot one turkey in my life. I don't know a whole lot about it. So I would listen to an audiobook and now I'm, I, I feel like I'm just like a turkey hunting expert. I feel like my turkey hunting senses are just, are just over here just tingling. But even if you don't like turkey hunting, I'm telling you, there is an unmatched selection of books on Audible. What are you a big fan of? New Year, New Me? You've been new saying year, it. New Year, New Me, man. New Year, New Me. So no matter what your New Year, New Me means, no matter if it's fitness, leadership, becoming a better parent, or learning how to turkey hunt, Audible can help you do exactly that. One last thing about Audible is they have the new Audible Originals. Audible Originals are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers from the worlds of diverse theater, journalism, literature, and more. So if you wanna get your first audiobook for free when you sign up for the 30 days, Make sure you click the link at the very top of the description or go to audible.com forward slash flare or text flare to 500-500. Gary! Where y'all? Oh, there you are, buddy. What's up, bud? How you doing, little guy? How are you? Look at Gary and all of his friends. They're just like, they're just posted up. Gary probably needs some food. Might need to feed him. Probably should actually feed him today. Yeah, definitely gonna get some food for Gary. He looks, he looks pretty hungry. John, we gotta go get food for Gary. 12 seconds later. Well, a couple hours later, we got Gary, Gary food and bluegill food. This should be really interesting. They're not very big. They didn't have very big goldfish at this place. Oh, bluegill got it. See ya. <laughs> I want to find a big one. Oh, there's a couple big ones in here. Oh, bluegill. Not cool, man. Oh, Gary, get it, Gary. Gary, get it from him. There you guys go. There they go. Gary, would you get one already? All right, here we go. Feeding frenzy. Oh my gosh, look at it. They're just gonna crush, crush the freaking, oh, I love it. The best part is the glitter, look at it. Really puts in perspective how much these fish can eat. Look at it, just, just smoking one after another. Oh, 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 well, they'll be good on food for a bit. Yeah, they didn't have any bigger, I need to go get some bigger goldfish. That'll do for now, Gary will be fine for the next day we'll probably have to feed him tomorrow he's looking he's looking bigger though i'll be honest he's, he's definitely grown since last time i was here so i think we're gonna hit the road we got like a two two hour drive or so and uh hopefully we shoot some hogs you guys stay tuned do i look scary now yeah, look yeah scary. i look pretty scary yeah i'd be oh, yeah. scared too it's nighttime folks it's gonna happen today so as i was explaining earlier it was probably a month ago rich was it a month ago so we came out here with the ultimate night vision guys we have Rich and Brad. Last time was a little tough, let's just put it that way. We spent two nights looking and uh, did not find a lot, but these guys have been on them lately. Fortunately, they invited us back down to hopefully shoot a hog. And we're gonna be using thermals, night vision, the whole works. It's gonna be hopefully a good video for you guys to watch. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think we're gonna have better luck than last time, at least I'm hoping so. And so we have hogs mainly, potentially coyotes. Is there anything else that need, they need to be concerned about? Chupacabra. Chupacabra, that too. This should be fun, you guys stay tuned.
folks in the vehicle. This is quite the rig we've got here. We've got absolute night vision thermal everywhere at all times. I've never seen anything like it, but basically there's, what's the what's it called on the that's on the roof? That's a rover. A rover? Pan tilt. So they just like, yeah, like a little joystick. It's like a Wii remote joystick. And you can kind of like pan around and basically thermal on top of the roof so we can kind of scan. And as well as they both have stuff kind of like on their helmets that kind of come down. So they can see everything. Right now we're just driving around looking for Hogs, coyotes, kind of whatever's running around here. Yeah, there's one moving on the left right there. Yeah, I would say so. Pigs? I think so. I think they're real active and pretty simple to see. Yeah. Me and Brad um, found some that were just on the edge of these woods uh, next to those cows. Well, we might have just spotted our first pig. How many do you think there were there? There's a few. A few? So we're gonna see, see if we can get on them. So, I mean, it is kind of quiet over here. So, when I saw them, they were right behind a tree. So, I don't know. It must have been that tree. They walked. Could have been that tree. But there's a, it looks like a bunch of fresh root, in here, like right here. So, it's probably, yeah, yeah. probably where they were. Gotcha. Yeah, they went around the pond and then up the hill over kind of towards the cows. Well, first spot. I don't know what happened. Either they busted us or they just kept moving. We're gonna walk back to the truck and try to find some more. Yeah, you can see. There's quite a bit here. This is, uh, this is what you call rooting. Yep. And they basically just stick their nose down, right? Into the dirt and just, aren't they trying to get like grubs and stuff? Anything they can get. Anything sometimes they're get. getting like uh, plant roots. Sometimes they're getting like worms and grubs and whatever they can get. But essentially, this is a big part of why we're trying to hunt these because they destroy land. I mean, like they like they physically destroy land. They do it in a hurry. I mean, it's like they come in, wipe it out, and they're they're gone. So it's kind of part of the whole management control. How it, I mean, I'd even say Texas, Texas, Oklahoma, what other states do they have them? Pretty does much. It, does it get much north? It doesn't get much north of Oklahoma, I don't think, does it? Pretty much the entire south. Just all in the south, this happens. Mm -hmm. Big problem. They breed like wildfire and uh, pretty tough to control, but this is a prime example of why we're trying to, uh, trying to take some out, just a few at a time. I think we might have one. There's something kind of poking around the edge of the woods over here too. We got a pig. We got a pig right here. Okay. Yeah. We got one pig sitting over there in the woods. Gonna get rigged up and see if we can take him out. We. I think we should go through this gate and go around to the left of him. Yeah. We'll have better wind. He's down. Yep. 
That'll do it, son. Good shooting. Hell yeah. He's toast. <laughs> Look at that. They do have pigs in Texas. Wow. That's not a myth. <laughs> Good figure. Finally. Oh, yeah, oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm shaking. <laughs> that was crazy. I spotted the pig. Stocked it. Had to wait for it to turn broadside. And the whole time, I'm just sitting there just quivering. Finally, we counted down and all three of us shot and he's laying down there. We gotta go check him out. That is big. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah, good shooting. Yes. God. Finally. What are we? How much how much do you think that one weighs? Uh, maybe. Dude, that thing is massive. <laughs> that is like that is, that is, 50? Oh my gosh, that thing is just huge. Crazy color. Is that is that yeah, is that not normal? They used to be darker, right? Yeah, usually black. Oh, they're sharp though. These little chomps you got on there. Oh yeah. It's like razor sharp. Really? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It's literally like a knife. Crazy. Oh my gosh. Unreal. That thing is massive compared to the other one I shot. Sweet. Alright, I'll go get the truck. Are you shot him, you loading. Oh I'm loading him. I'm ready. <laughs> Alright. It's only gonna take two of us. Alright, I'm gonna do three, two, one, throw them in there. Okay. Three. Two, one. Good God. Good job lifting with Woo! the pack. Well, <laughs> we did it. It's loaded. That thing is massive. Wait. One down, baby. Broke the seal. Broke the curse. Yeah. There are hogs in Texas, confirmed. The first group that eluded us, I yeah. think I think they're over on the back corner of that pond. Quick time check. 3.17 a.m., folks. We're tired out here, but uh, we're still on that grind. We've seen some pigs, seen some coyotes. It's time to put one down. Time to, time to take them out. I see the fourth one now, it's coming up. See him? Whoever's right on the right. You ready? Okay. I got the one on the left? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Mine's face was facing towards me, so that was kind of a tough shot. How do you feel? Good. <laughs> Killed some more pigs. Oh, stick with your legs. Not your back. Just watch your ass now. There you go. Okay. One, two, three. I'll let you follow this. One, two, three. Oh, they were so freaking heavy. We got two. Total of three down. It's like 3.45 in the morning and I'm exhausted. Well folks, look at this. We got one, two, three. The first one is significantly larger than all the rest. By like a, by like a lot. But a quick time check for you. 4.24 in the morning. Keep in mind, John and I both had a 6 a.m. flight. So we've been up for a solid 24 hours and we have a two hour drive home. So uh, I'm gonna wrap this up when we get back to the MTB crib.